Welcome to Access 2013. Now this too has undergone a major facelift. We have a big solid bar, they've gone for a dark color, and obviously the icon has changed. Now to help with the overview of the new interface, I've placed the database in your working folder, and it's called 2013datafile.accdb. Now you'll see that on start of Access, we can either go for a recent one or open an existing file, or we can start a new database using a custom web app, which we'll explore shortly, a blank desktop database, or any number of new templates. Or you can search online for other database templates. We're going to open our 2013 data file, just to give you a overview of the interface. You'll find that the ribbons are pretty similar really to 2010. We have the home ribbon, depending on where you are. If we open up TBL basket, for example, you'll find that all the options here are then available for filtering, refreshing the data, checking spelling, even doing some formatting. We have a create ribbon that allows you to create the objects within the database, the tables, the forms, the queries, the reports, all have their own little sections and the macros and code have their own little section as well. We have external data as a ribbon to allow you to import data from Excel, Access, other ODBC databases, plain text files, XML files, etc., and then a section for exporting. So if you want to output your data into another format, such as Excel, plain text file, PDF, Access, throw the data to a Word mail merge, that option is here. We also have the database tools ribbon. This allows you to do compact and repair, run a macro, enter the Visual Basic code, look at the relationships or object dependencies, and do some analysis of your data. It will also allow you to do the database split that is so common with Access to allow you to use Access as the front end and put your data into a SQL Server back end, which is done via SharePoint. Now, those are the main ribbons but you'll also get context sensitive ribbons. And because I have a table open, I'm seeing the table tools ribbon, which actually has two. One for the fields to allow me to edit the design of my table and one for the table that allows us to deal with the properties. Now, one new option that is here is to add triggers that occur before something happens or before you delete something, after you insert something, after you update something or after you delete something. Here, we can just simply choose the trigger and add the event that will occur. And like the other Office applications, the biggest changes are really on the file menu. We have the information first, which is about this particular database, allows us to run compact and repair and encrypt the database. New, which we've effectively seen when we started Access to allow you to create a new database. Open, and we see the new open screen that allows us to access recent folders, any Sky drives you're logged into, your computer, or the clever new bit of adding a place, so a regular folder location. We then have save, that allows you to save this object. Save as, allows you to save the object with a new name as a PDF, or to save the whole database, an older version as a copy of the current file, or even make it into an ACCDE file, the compiled version of your database. We have print, the open object. So I've got that table open. It would want to print the data from within that table. We have close to allow us to close the database. Account allows us to log in to our Windows account, Xbox account, and then you'll see the services you're currently logged into. And you can see I'm connected to a SkyDrive. I've even connected it to Facebook and Twitter. And then we have options, which will be the separate dialog box for access options. And in here, you'll find various things that you would want to change about the current database, data sheets, object designers. So some of those items are new. Some of them are the same as previous versions of Access. OK, it takes us back to your database. If we close our basket here, our home, create external data, database tools, file menu, and the back arrow takes us back to Access. And then you've also got your quick access toolbar, as we do in the other applications that can be edited from this little option here to turn on or off the buttons you would like to see or go into more commands so that you can add or remove options from the quick access toolbar. And you would put into there the tools that you would use most often, perhaps save, perhaps undo, perhaps spelling, depending on what you want. So it's customizing access to work for you. And that's the new layout for access 2013.